very, very excited to show you a brand new spot, Chinese restaurant, Cantonese restaurant that has just opened up in Angel, Islington. And I've been there a few times. The food here reminds me of home. So I thought I would show you everything that I'm going to order today, talk you through the dishes, and then basically have a grand old feast because I am so hungry. Let's come on in. There's a new Chinese restaurant in Islington, woohoo! Hong Kong restaurant opened up in Upper Street in June this year and hopes to bring a slice of Cantonese culture to the area. There's a great love and attention to detail here from the red and gold shop front, the music playing, traditional decor and the bone china used for the bowls and side plates. You feel immersed in it as soon as you step in. Before I show you the food, I've made friends with the owner, so we've got a little sneak peek of the kitchen and show you what it's like. Let's go! We were invited down to the kitchen and straight away I was mesmerized by the chen fun being made to order fresh in front of me. Imagine my clumsy hands trying to do this. Yeah, I wouldn't. Dim sum is truly such an art and mastery to perfect from making the perfect dumpling wrappers, the pleats to perfecting the batter for these noodle rolls. It takes an extraordinary amount of skill and it makes me respect, love and appreciate the dishes even more whenever I get the opportunity to see how it's done. First course. I asked the manager to recommend our table the signature dishes and he was so excited we ended up with a feast of his spread. I'll pop a link to the menu down below or pause the video for a bit to take a longer look. So we've just seen the chamber being repaired downstairs so now we're upstairs about to try and we also have a ton of the dim sum that we've seen earlier as well but before I tuck in I want to quickly tell you about the chili oil because I'm just speaking to the manager about it. So all of the chili oil here is made on site handmade and it's all natural flavouring so some of the ingredients you've got obviously the chili peppers, we've got spring onion, ginger, cinnamon, we've got some herbs and also some mandarin peel. It's a very very unique blend and you can't get it anywhere else and I can vouch for how tasty it is because I've been here several times and this always runs out and I always, always have to ask for extra. I'm going to pick those very close to me. Will I ever get tired of filming dim sum and food in slow motion? This pleases my heart and stomach so much I don't think I ever will. So we have two dimmers at the time, so we've got the fresh prawn ones here and then we've got the prawn and the crispy bean curd one. Yeah. And then we've got some hagao, obviously the holy trinity for me. Hagao, crystallized shrimp dumplings, siu mai, which is a pork and prawn dumpling, and one of my ultimate faves, soup dumpling. I'm hungry, first round, we're ready, let's go. Slight correction, it is not pork and prawn siu mai because this entire menu is actually halal, so you won't have any pork here, you won't have any pork oil, everything's cooked with vegetable oil, so this is actually prawn and chicken. <laughs> Juicy, firm, and the chili oil. You know, my chili oil is just not just chili, it's actually got a ton of flavour. So good. Mm. Mm. A lot of soup. Very succulent, very juicy, you've still got the soup. Very, very good. A lighter version. Mm. Because the chow fun is made so fresh, it is so wet. And the English word for wet would be like very slippery. Um, but you can feel each layer of the ingredients in between. The bean curd is crispy. Outside is so translucent and slippery. Add in the chili oil, you've got yourself a winner. We've got a big one. We have a big chan fan. Ha chan, prawn chan fan is actually one of my ultimate favourites. You can choose between like prawn, and beef, and ta seal, which is the roast pork, or you can have. I'm sure like a veggie version and stuff as well, which I don't normally pick. But I always think the prawn is the best because it works the best, in my opinion, in terms of texturally. I just slather the whole thing in chili oil because can you tell I'm obsessed with it? Here we go. Mm. You see it in my face. We now have salt and pepper chili squid, and traditionally you wouldn't normally serve it with spicy mayonnaise, but with this one they have. So it's a manager and he was like, try it and then you'll see why. And he basically wants to balance out the flavours of the squid with salt and pepper and then balance it out with the mayonnaise. And also got a little bit of chili cake as well, so I'm not complaining, I love the both, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm, I'm normally very, very picky with salt and pepper squid because my dad's one is always the best and it's hard, I always find like, it's quite hard to get the batter quite right, but this is good, very, very light batter. 
can taste the salt and pepper and the chilli so well and actually the spicy mayonnaise works really really well I normally wouldn't really pair it but, but it works, it's tasty and it's good Are you ready for an extension of starters? Because I most certainly am we now have two different wonton dishes, and as you know, wonton's my fave. So we have wonton soup, which is a quintessential Hong Kong Cantonese dish. You can have it as a soup, you can have it with noodles. I love both. I love it with noodles, actually. And then we also have the wonton in chili oil, which is also different way of doing it. And it's got spring onion over the top, and it is bathing in chili oil. I am truly happiest when eating dumplings. I mean, what's not to love about them? Perfect all year round, and I could eat them for every meal if I could. And I pretty much do. So comforting. It's time for our main course. This time I got to meet some of the head chefs at the restaurant. They each have over 25 years of experience and are complete masters in their craft. Hearing the wok, smelling the food, and engaging in Cantonese banter made me feel so nostalgic while serving as a reminder from seeing my parents work exactly how hard it is standing on your feet, working those long hours, holding those heavy woks, and cooking endless plates of delicious food for customers. I didn't want to be in the way, so a film from a distance zoomed in, but I couldn't stop watching. I'll talk about each dish in more detail later, but the team delivered an incredible spread of Cantonese delights, including half a roast duck and steamed scallops with minced garlic. I'd say that if you enjoy sweet and savoury mains, you'd love the beef and the lamb chops with honey because it leans on the sweeter side of things. There are a few options for vegetarians, but less extensive compared to the meat and seafood. The menu also has a selection of Sichuan dishes too for extra variety. It's time for round two, baby, because all of our mains have just been served. There is a lot of food. I'm very, very excited. So starting off with we have the black pepper sizzling the fillet. Beautiful presentation, I've had this before. Next up, I've got a very, very classic Chinese dish and we've got stir-fried morning glory with garlic. And then, this is a new one that I've not tried before and the presentation is so beautiful. We've got these honey black pepper lamb chops. But look at this presentation. You've also got some caramelized red onions and some coriander at the top. It is glistening and it is beautiful. One of my ultimate favorite Cantonese dishes to have in the evening are the steamed scallops. So we have minced garlic, vermicelli, light soy sauce, and also coriander over the top, and some chili peppers as well. So delicious. I'm, I'm very excited to talk into this one, I think the most. And then, obviously, if you pass by in the restaurant, you will see the roast duck hanging from the hooks and then have here half a portion of the roast duck without the bones you can choose to either have it with bones or without bones and this is what it looks like glistening and i've also had this before as well <laughs> and one of my ultimate papers i had here last time was this and this is the lotus wrapped seafood rice humongous portion inside you've got lots of different chunks of seafood you've got prawns there you've got mushroom chinese mushrooms in there i think some squid in there it's so 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 tasty okay let's tuck in baby Despite the restaurant wanting to preserve Cantonese culture with its cuisine, a lot of the traditional dishes that would contain pork has been substituted with chicken, seafood or other protein. I didn't think some of the dishes like siu mai, wonton and soup dumplings would work without it, but I was pleasantly surprised. Tasty food aside, I particularly like this venue because it not only reminds me of Hong Kong, but the meals had in the Cantonese restaurants growing up with family friends. It's spacious, you sit comfortably and it takes you away from London for a couple of hours. Right, all of that talking has made me hungry for the final course. Does is that anyone? There's always room for it, right? Alright, we are now full from main course, but there's always room for dessert and we have two different types. So, with first of all, we have tiramisu. This isn't obviously traditionally Chinese, but a lot of Chinese people love it as well. They have a special chef who comes just to make this specific dessert, so definitely worth a try. It's all made on site. So I've got extra big people. And also, can I just talk about a funny pun that was had to make of tiramisu? If I were to have this dish, I would call it tiramisu. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this now. It's so nice, so creamy, and it's sweeter than you thought you'd expect. Mm. Okay, and then we have one of my all-time favourite desserts. I just love Cantonese food. This is a dessert called Yen Zi Gum Roll, and it's mango pomelo sago. It's served, chilled, you've got mango chunks in it, you've got sago in it, you've got the coconut milk mixed in, 
and also little bits of pomelo just to cut through the little creamy flavours and it is so refreshing, especially on a super hot day like it is in London right now. This is so delicious to have to cool you down and I love mango anything and this is my absolute fave. There's all the different textures because you've got like the mango chunks. You've got like all the different saga pads with the cream in it of the coconut milk. The temperature is chilled and it's so good and it's just so delicious to like end your meal with after all of the different foods. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> mm. A delightful evening and a restaurant I keep coming back to with my loved ones. Thank you so much to the team for inviting me down and for treating us to such an incredible meal. It's one I recommend and no doubt you'll be seeing me there time and time again. But for now, I need to walk off this meal, baby. So I'll see you in the next video, my loves. Goodbye.